tractor beams. Tenuous connection to Bill Murray. I'll let you guys figure it out in the comments. Welcome back to Factor Fictional, the show where we look at cool tech and science from your favorite movies, video games, books, and comics, and ask, is this really possible? And if not, why not? Are you afraid of UFOs beaming you up during your annual camping retreat? No, I, I didn't think so. But this week, I'm going to find out if you should be. I asked the internet what they thought about tractor beam technology. The Trek nerd, fittingly enough, from Twitter said, this will be great for rounding up small particles, but there will be no towing of starships, useful as navigational deflector. And Kim Molly says, if it means not having to get up off the couch to pick up the TV remote, I'm pro tractor beam. I agree, Kim. Today, Thomas Sismar, a medical photonics expert from St. Andrews University in Scotland, is here to answer all of our questions. So what do you do specifically at the university? Research in photonics in general. So um, looking for new ways how to apply light, particularly biomedical applications. Mm -hmm. yeah. There was recently an article in Wired um, specifically about this tractor beam technology that you guys have been working on, but what inspired that research and, and how close did the article actually get it to what you're, you're working on? Tractor beam is a cool selling name, right? Uh, that when we started to work on that, we didn't actually go for tractor beam, but we saw something very interesting in calculations. And it was quite some time ago when I was still in Czech Republic doing my PhD in a group of uh, Pavel Zemanek, and uh, we found that uh, at some space of the giant parameter space, uh, at, at some subspace, there is the possibility to reverse the, the, the radiation pressure of light. But for a long time people didn't know that there is a little bit of window for pulling if you set the parameters right. What are the practical applications of this kind of technology, if there are any? Is it more just to show that it can be done? One of the hopes is that it could be used for sorting of colloidal ensembles, such as, such as blood and similar. We don't know whether it's going to be possible. But already, if we put a mixture of particles, we can pull out one very specific kind of these particles. So hopefully, if everything works, well, we could maybe take a blood samples and pull out, pull out specific content out of it. Of course, I'm a big, I'm a huge Star Trek fan. So when I heard that there was a potential for tractor beam technology in the real world, I got very excited. Um, but it seems to me as though this is more on the very small scale as opposed to something like a, a starship, for example. Yes, and this is where it's probably gonna stay. Mm -hmm. Because um, if you want to extend it to a, to a macro scale, say you would like to attract something of a size of a football, right? uh, and apply a very small force, say of one newton, you would need an incredible amount of, of uh, power, of optical power, of uh, hundreds of millions of watts. The tractor beam, mm. as we're calling it, can pick up specific particles. Mm. Um, why is it just certain kinds of particles, or, or can it do any kind of particulate matter? You can tune it. So you can say, I want this size of particles, or maybe even a combination of sizes. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you tweak the parameters of the system in such a way, you tweak the wavelengths and the uh, illumination angle to, ag to get exactly what you want. What would be the largest thing you could potentially push or pull? I don't think you can say there is a limit. There is not the fundamental limit. It all it depends on the amount of power that you have. So with the standard laboratory powers that uh, uh, you can have the PhD students conveniently play with, and, and uh, it's not going to cross over, say, 10 micrometers. One millimeter in 2,000 pieces. So you can't see that? No. No. Oh, all right, no, all right. You need a microscope to see that. So you need a microscope to see it. But yeah. I feel as though maybe way down the line, if we have some way of, no, you're, you're looking at me like, no. Uh, no. <laughs> well, okay, if, if, if I was, um, if I was an alien, right, and I, mm -hmm. I would like to steal uh, a space shuttle, I would probably go another way. I would try to mess up with the controlling system and make the, make the, um, the, the space shuttle come to me using mm -hmm. its own power, right, rather than <laughs> attracting it with the force field. His team are amongst many scientists worldwide that are on the brink of creating a practical use of tractor beam tech. So I'm giving this a fact. The science is real, even if we may never be grabbing Klingon bird of praise and towing them around the galaxy, you know, for fun.
Let me know your thoughts on this topic in the comments below, and also let me know what you'd like to see featured right here on the show. That's all for this week, folks. I'm Veronica Belmont, and this is Factor Fictional on TechFeed. Be sure to subscribe to see all of our brand new shows. I'll see you next time.